Hey there, Dr. T with another installment of the Train Your Brain vlog. Today's question comes to us from Eggnuts on Instagram, and they ask what can be done therapeutically for visual sensitivities, or photophobia as it's called. Now, there's lots of reasons people might have visual sensitivities, uh, things like medication side effects, uh, direct injuries to the eye itself, um, as well as certain medical conditions like thyroid disorders, uh, including Graves' disease. So uh, lots of reasons, but the primary reason we see visual sensitivities here is due to some type of head injury, most notably concussion and post-concussion syndrome. Uh, this often involves disruption in certain nerve pathways from the eyes to visual processing centers, uh, as well as the brainstem eye movement centers and uh, many other areas. So. What we need to look at in terms of, of providing therapies for visual sensitivities are three things, and that is pre uh, prevention, correction, and support. So prevention, what we want to do is we want to um, hopefully prevent the eye uh, insult in the first place or the brain insult in the first place, but also to preventing further disruption to certain um, uh, visual systems and eye movement systems. And that can be done through things like glasses that are blocking certain wavelengths of light that might be irritating to the brain. Uh, we have lots of different glasses we can utilize for different situations. Um, Prevention can also be uh, reducing screen time, getting in dark rooms, certain types of eye patching techniques. Lots of things can be done from that perspective to decrease the, uh, the, the discomfort or disruption in the nervous system. Now, correction. What we want to do from a correction standpoint is look at the systems that might be involved in this visual sensitivity. Uh, the brainstem is typically heavily involved, and we can do things to start to correct certain types of eye movements that may be giving us uh, some difficulty in processing visual input. Uh, so behind me, you'll see a station that's set up in our office, one of several stations, where we can do certain eye movement training exercises. So things to hold our eyes on a target more efficiently, uh, to move our eyes slowly, move them quicker, certain eye reflexes and responses. Uh, we have significant connection between our eyes, our inner ear systems, and our postural muscles. So we can utilize all of these systems to retrain the centers that process visual input and eye movements so that we can have more efficient function and less uh, disruption or less discomfort in the form of visual sensitivity. For some, it may be a quick process. For others, it may be uh, a much more long and drawn out process depending on the type of injury and uh, what's been done and how much time between injury and intervention. So lots can be done there. Um, also too, there are things like cold laser therapies, uh, neurofeedback, certain breathing exercises. So there are adjunctive and supportive therapies that can be done uh, in addition to the obvious of the eye movement and visual integration types of therapies. Also too, from a support standpoint, we have um, nutritional supplementation, things like curcumin, magnesium, essential fatty acids, etc. These can be all utilized to support the brain areas and healing in the brain that is necessary when it comes to quieting down the centers that are processing visual input. Um, that's the thing about the brain. The brain is a big filter. And when the brain can't process visual input appropriately, uh, it starts to uh, dislike it to a certain degree, and that comes out in the form of visual sensitivities or photophobia. Uh, so that's just a brief little snippet of what we can do therapeutically to help. Uh, most importantly, you need a proper evaluation by a functional neurologist, uh, behavioral optometrist, and certain other providers that are adept at looking at visual integration and visual movement or eye movement systems uh, and the connection to inner ear balance systems as well as postural muscle systems. So if you uh, would like, you can give us a call at 828-708-5274 and we can set up a free consultation to, to discuss further. You can also vis visit us online at apexbraincenters.com or email us info at apexbraincenters.com. Dot com. We want to hear what you want to hear about, so please uh, leave a comment on this video and let us know what it is you'd like us to talk about in a future uh, vlog on the, the Train Your Brain vlog. Thank you so much. Have a great day.